Deepika to discuss emerging research trends in commerce and management. I'm thankful to all organizers of this international conference. I'm thankful to chief patrons, patrons, convener, organizing secretary, and especially thankful to Dr. Patisha Kamari, Vice President, Hidoskaya Research University for her help uh, and uh, uh, cooperation. So thank you all. My topic is today's presentation is empowering business through research, emerging trends in commerce and management. So we know that the field of commerce and management is changing every day by day. It is constantly evolving with new research trends emerging all the times. So there are a number of factors which are responsible for these changes. One is technological advancement. Second is globalization. Third one is changing consumer behaviors. So business must be constantly adapting and innovating in order to remain competitive and sustain in the market. That's why it is essential to uh, stay up to date of the latest trends and developments. So let us discuss what are the key emerging trends in research and commerce management. First one is the rise of digital economy. We know that digital economy now plays a very vital role for the business and for the sustain of the business. And uh, uh, now new technology such as artificial intelligence, blockchain, big data are creating new opportunities and also creating challenges for the business of all sides. So I want to highlight here that now AI is used in many various areas for automations, for data analysis and insights, for customer service, personalization, fraud detection and security, supply chain optimization, for human resource management, for marketing and advertising, for financial service, we use, now we are using artificial intelligence. Similarly, big data. Big data is nowadays used and uh, it is crucial for the business. So uh, generally for decision making, for customer insight, for market intelligence, in supply chain management, for pattern recognition, for management revolution, and for feedback and perception, generally we use big data. Similarly, we use blockchain. Generally, we use blockchain in finance, finance for various purposes, for streamlining data security, for trade finance and optimization, for extended ERP functions, for cost reduction and real time programs, for streamlining payment systems, improving transactions and settlements, so in these areas, now technology like artificial intelligence, blockchains, and big data, big data we are using. The next rising trend is globalization of the commerce. The, now we know that world is becoming interconnected to day by day. The business are operating in a global marketplace. So it is our opportunity. This presents the opportunity for growth and expansion of the business and to, <clears throat> to, to manage the challenges they face in the, uh, uh, where there is a cultural, cross-cultural differences and navigating complex regulatory environment. So uh, generally I want to highlight here, what is cross-cultural differences? There are various aspects of the international business. One is communication styles, negotiation strategies, decision-making process, workplace value, legal and regulatory challenges, consumer behavior, risk perceptions. So these are the cross-cultural differences we'll find in the international business. Second one is the complex regulatory environment. Generally, we face challenges, complex challenges, cost implications, and risk management, market entry barriers. These are the problems we generally face in case of complex regulatory environment. Next is rising is sustainability and social responsibility. Business are under increasing pressure to operate sustainable and social responsible. This is leading to the 
growing focus on environmental sustainability, ethical business practices, and corporate social responsibility. We know that if uh, we have to give importance for the environment, and uh, in environment, uh, environment sustainability, there are some key aspects we have to consider. First one is brand reputations. For the brand reputation, we have to uh, be environmental sustainability, regulatory compliance, risk management, supply chain resilience, employee engagement, innovations. These are the environmental sustainability factors. Next is ethics. We know that without ethics, no organization, no business can survive in the world. So business ethics or ethical business is very much very much necessary and it is also a significant impact on a various aspect of business. So ethical aspect can hamper reputation and trust of the business. They can destroy customer loyalty. They can uh, impact employee morale and productivity, legal compliance, risk and management, access to capital, long-term sustainability, competitive advantages. So these are the ethical practices generally we will manage in the organization. Next trend is the changing nature of the work. Now the workplace is changing nowadays. So we are generally facing the gig economy, remote work and flexible work environment. So these are the uh, changing environment. Uh, we are uh, we can say that these are the nature of the work for changing environment. Next is evolving consumers. The now, now we can feel, we can see that previous consumers' behavior, now today's behavior is different. Now consumers are more uh, informed, they are more empowered, they are more demanding. Business need to adapt their strategy to meet the needs and expectation of new generation of the consumers. So each and every business has to prepare strategy as per the need, as per the requirement of the consumers. There are just few of the, these are the just few of the emerging research trends I have just discussed. Now I'll discuss, in addition to this trend, I would like to offer some thoughts on the future of research in commerce and management. I believe that the following areas will be of particular importance. First, first one is, interdisciplinary research. Now we know that commerce and management are complex field, but it requires a multidisciplinary approach. We have to integrate with economics. We have to integrate with psychology. We have to integrate with uh, sociology. Sociology can help business organizations to understand the need of the society. So sociology can also help business research market data. So, we can uh, we can make more integration with the sociology. Similarly, psychology. In case of psychology, generally psychology provides or assists business in, de in designing product, creating efficient workplace, and promoting steady behavior. So these are the areas where we can integrate ourselves and uh, different uh, streams, different uh, areas, peoples can be integrated they can do research in uh, in one place. Another is big data and analytic. Now, big data is creating new opportunity for research in commerce and management. Research can be used big data to analyze, to find the, what are the consumer behaviors, what is the, to identify the market trends, to develop new business strategies. Emerging technology, just we have discussed how artificial intelligence blockchain can help to promote the business, to sustain in the market in the near future. So researcher can need to stay up to date on latest technological development and explore how this technology can be used to solve the business problems. Another is a global perspective. Commerce and management are increasingly global field. Researchers need to adopt global perspective on their work and consider the impact of their research on business and consumer around the world. Next is real world impact. 
research in commerce and management should have a real world impact research should strive to develop solutions to the challenges facing businesses and consumers and make a positive impact on the society so in conclusion we can say that the field of commerce and management is changing it is evolving it is a dynamic it is not static business must be prepared to adopt the new trends by adopt, staying up to date on the latest research business can identify opportunity and challenges if business will identify opportunity and challenges the risk can be reduced the risk can be managed and the risk can be held this is allow them to make necessary changes to their business models and strategy in order to remain competitive so we can say that business has to the the research nowadays can help business in different areas in different functional areas to sustain in the market and to get profit and to stay for longer periods so thank you for your attention why in we can i can conclude with this sentence research and education are the two pillars upon which the future of humanity rests so thank you all thank you for